All right, I'm just gonna do a quick demo on the Flute Master. So I have all the pieces here. I know it looks like a little intimidating, but it goes it goes together pretty easy. I've set it up a couple of times. This piece right here goes in your tail stock and your chuck threads onto that. But we need to put an indexing wheel on first. And then we'll put our chuck on it. I had to get an adapter for mine because it's a one inch thread on it on there. And so I just put that little adapter on there and it comes with a little wrench to tighten your chuck on. Tighten it up like that and then you put, put your workpiece in that. So lay this and on while you're doing any of this process here. So there's a couple little pieces where the, the chain rides on and they're little guide wheels and then the other one on the other end has a little sprocket on it. But I'll show you real quick. Just lock that down like that. And same with the with the uh, Flute Master part of it. These little stops right there, those are your guides on, on where you're going to be cutting. So I just trued up a log here, put a couple little uh, coves in it so I know where to stop. So let me slide this back to where we're going to be. So you put your live center down in that end. Actually, this is going to be out there quite a ways. So let's get this in the chuck here real quick. Hang on. This is just a piece of maple. Actually, too small. I thought I turned it down. Hang on, let me change the jaws real quick. <laughs> All right, and it doesn't. Uh, you're not the lathe isn't on, so I'm not worried about the about the tin in there. But I am gonna. Gonna bring it up into the spur center, right into the same hole I had when I was turning it. Put a little bit of pressure on it, not a whole lot. Don't need to get carried away because you're not gonna be spinning it. All right. So this little little part right here is the guide wheels for the this side of it, and they. Go right underneath the sprocket here. And they don't have to be be perfect, but you just get them get them close. It's uh, not real critical. And if you want to do reverse flutes, you turn the you cross the chains. I'll show you how to how to set up the chains here in just a second. But this goes on here, and this is a stop for back here. I'll adjust it a little better minute. This one down here goes on down here. Slides right in your bed. We'll just, just keep it a little bit loose. All right. So use the same attachment you do for the flute master. Come over here, figure out exactly where where you want to be. Or for, yeah, for the flute master. That's right. So. I'm gonna stop right about there. Tighten that down. Bring it down to this side. Figure out where you wanna stop. Right about there. I'm just kinda of eyeballing center on this on this piece here, and that's where the, the bits gonna come through. So tighten all those down. Alright. Now for the chain, this is what runs the the sprocket and everything. So it has little hooks on it right there. You just put those right onto the that little pin. I should probably pull that off there before I drop it. Get myself. All right. Go right along the guides there. Down around this one and lock it right in like that. 
So make sure everything's tightened down a little bit. And the way you tighten it is just turn the little cup here. You can move it to the, the next ball. It doesn't have to be really tight. So what it's gonna do is, is just rotate it as you go. And this is the indexing wheel here. So has a little pin, goes right in there. Just decide, let's just do, do these ones here. Goes right in like that. So I'm gonna put the router in. I'll bring the camera over here on the other side real quick and, and show you how you set the, set the router up. But it's the same way you do the, the flute master. It just slides right into this little pocket. Just put, I have a little uh, V bit on there. Slides right in like that. This is how you adjust the depth on it. It's this little guide here. So we're gonna do some shallow ones. Has a little knob over here, tighten, lock it all down. And so what you want to do when you're using this thing is put pressure down on this side. You want to hold hold this side down as you turn it because you don't want this coming off the off the head like that. So plug the get the router plugged in. Turn your router on. Put pressure down on, on it over there. just cuts the flutes just like that all right let me move it over a little bit we'll rotate it around one make sure you keep track of where you're at we're gonna do three you can do them as tight as you want or as, as wide, wide as you want pull the router back same thing Just like that, and we'll go three more. There we go, and the indexing system automatically makes sure everything's right. There we go. Get this out of here. Pop the chain off. Take that out. Router bit or router just comes out. So this little wheel here, if you wanted to go back over it and do a, a deeper cut, you screw it in to, to make them deeper, out to go go shallow. That's, but that's basically it. Um, then just just sand them up. Uh, you can use these on a variety of things. Um, uh, even Dick had some uh, uh, pictures on his website. People doing doing it with bottle stoppers, lamps, uh, vases, all sorts of stuff. I did that that picture a while back and just used the straight flutes. It. I would just kind of practice around with with some inexpensive wood on a few of them like this because it's it's key that you have this down as you're moving it. If this pops up, then the the bit's not going to run straight. And you can see a couple little spots where I, where I kind of fudged a little bit and it went off a little bit but you're going to sand all these out anyway so you know I have a little uh, uh, taco sander that works great for this little foam pad that's that's uh, round um, but yeah works slick I'll uh, mess around with it some more and try and get a little better at it but it works very well slick I just wanted to show you real quick. I was gonna use the little taco sander to sand them, but it's a little bit thicker than, than these. If I went down a little bit deeper, it would have, would have been okay. So what I did is I used a rasp, and it actually works pretty well. It cleans them up pretty good. So just get them all cleaned out, and then you do sanding. You can even wrap a sandpaper around a dowel or something. That, that would work too, but that cleans out all the, all the rough edges on it, and 
obviously I got a little bit more work but it cleans them up pretty quick and if you want to roll these over into beads too you can do that it's just a matter of uh, sanding them up but yeah once I get them opened up something like that will work, work great for getting right down in there and, and doing the doing the final sanding on it too after I get them get them opened up a little bit more there we go